how to set up consent mode version 2 in Google Tag Manager. In this video session, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to set up consent mode version 2 if you're using Google Tag Manager. Simply select the workspace that you're working on and let's select templates. Here we have tag templates and we also have variable templates. Let's stick with the basics. Let's select a search gallery. Here we can search for consent mode and then you can see there is many service providers that they've created templates for consent mode version 2. Let's select this particular one. And here it's saying, okay, this is what it's going to do. Let's add to workspace. All right, so we can do that, then create tags and so on. Anytime we want to delete something, as in the template, let's select delete. So we have that option as well. So we can either search the gallery or import a new template. Because if you already set up cookie consent banners on your website, perhaps the plugin or app has created a template for you. It's just the file that is needed to set up Google Tag Manager. So in my example, so let's close out of it. Let's press new. Let's press three dots and import the file. Then I need to read through the terms and conditions for using third party apps in Google Tag Manager. And then agree to the terms and conditions. Then let's select save changes. Basically, we've imported a template. We could have imported a template from the gallery as well. It basically will do the same thing, okay? So let's close out of it. And next stage is let's create the tag. And here, what we need to do is create a new tag under tag configuration. Let's hover over the pencil icon. Because we've imported a custom template, let's select that. But if we didn't, we could have easily selected the one we've got from our search gallery, okay? So I'm showing you two different options just in case you're using different um, templates and so on. So let's select this one. Here we have options. Adds data reduction or URL bypassing. You can hover over the question mark icon to learn what they're doing. I won't cover them in this tutorial, okay? Because most templates will give you all these um, options to tweak your cookie consent mode version 2. As in when it should fire, you have consent settings, for example. We can add row. We can select region by using ISO 31662, the codes here. Let's imagine European data protections are absolutely important for your website, then perhaps you can you know, tweak your setup accordingly by saying, okay, you know what, when it's Australia, for example, comma, and let's say USA, do these by default, add user data, add personalization, leave that as denied. Okay, so I'll show you this example because this may be useful for some business websites. Because here basically we can tweak our template in such way. In this scenario, what we're saying is Everything is set, as in, we can send data to Google servers, but for add user data, add personalization, this tag is configured to false, which is denied version. 
Then let's select save changes. Okay, we need to add a trigger. In this example, let's delete that one. And here, this template gives us these options. We can say all pages if we want. We can say consent initialization, as in before or after. And now let's save changes. Give the tag a name. And this is how simple it is to set up Google Tag Manager for consent mode version 2. Whether you are importing a template or whether you're using the search gallery templates. When you follow this option, what will happen is your Google Tag Manager will only send data to Google servers according to your setup. Before I close up, do keep in mind that you have Tag Assistant Companion, which is a Chrome extension that will allow you to double check the tag setup on your website to triple check to see if all is working correctly. And I strongly encourage you to definitely use the tag assistance to triple check your setup. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.